So uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to factorize a cubic expression using the long division method. Long division is long, that's why it's called long division. It's probably one of the most complicated concepts of all the factorization techniques we can ever ask you to actually uh, work with. So what I'm going to simply do here is first of all acknowledge the fact that if we have to factorize a cubic, we are expecting to get three factors, which means we're going to get the first factor, we're going to get the second factor, and we're also going to get the third factor. So we're expecting three factors in total because this is a cubic, right? Um, the first one, we always find it using the remainder, the factor remainder theorem that says we have to look for a number we can substitute for x such that the whole thing becomes a zero. That number will be the root that will give birth to the first factor. It's as good as saying we're guessing the first x factor there that will appear on this question, right? So what I'm going to simply to, uh, going to do here, I'm going to say let f of x, let, let's call that expression f of x, let f of x be x cubed plus x squared minus 14x minus 24, right? We give that uh, expression um, f of x, and then we look for an x value, right? We look for an x value that we will substitute here and get an answer of zero because that's what the factor remainder theorem says. It means that we are looking for a root we can substitute so that the remainder is zero. If our answer becomes zero, then we will have found our first factor, right? So you start first of all by substituting one here. If one doesn't work, you substitute minus one. If minus one does not give you zero, you substitute two. If it's not working, you put minus two until you find a value that will produce an answer of zero, right? So it turns out that in this question, minus three is going to work, right? So if I put minus three here, if I put minus three, uh, if I put minus three here, what will happen is uh, I'm gonna get minus 27 here. I'm gonna get minus 27. This one is gonna give me positive nine. This one is going to give me positive um, 42, right? And then the last one, of course, has been minus 24. And then when you add these guys, you're gonna get uh, something. And when you get these ones, you're also going to get something. Eventually, the whole thing becomes a zero. So that tells you that indeed, we can conclude that therefore, x plus three is a factor of f of x. That is actually going to be our first factor, which I'm going to put as my first factor. x plus 3 is our first factor. And remember the following. If you are substituting a root of minus 3, your factor has to be x plus 3, right? But if I was substituting a positive value here, I was going to say x minus as my uh, sign for the factor. So don't confuse a root with a factor. The sign of what you have here will always be different from the sign that you have here in your factor. Please keep that in mind. Right. So I've got my first factor, now I need to find the other two factors. So now I'm going to use long division. This is where you can use different techniques. Monkeys eat a plus plus bananas, or you can use synthetic method or any other technique that works. But in this case, we are trying to do it using the long division. So let's see how the long division works. Right. So what you do is you simply put it in this form, right? You put it in this form. You take that first uh, factor, you put it here, x plus 3, because you're trying to divide this into that. And then I'm going to have my x cubed here, and then I have got my x squared. I have minus 14x, and I have minus 24 inside that sign there, right? So what you're doing in your um, long division method, you're just doing parts of both mass, right? I prefer calling it bad mass because people misunderstand the meaning of O in board mass. So I'm going to call it bad mass because it's more descriptive. So what I'm doing in uh, bad mass, I'm not focusing on brackets because there are no brackets here. I'm also not focusing on exponents, right? I'm only going to do division, multiplication, and subtraction. So I'm actually doing DMS of my board mass. I'm going to divide, multiply, subtract, divide, multiply, subtract, divide, multiply, subtract, until I'm done dividing this thing, right? So let's first of all start with the division. Let's divide, right? I'm doing DMS. So you divide x cubed and x. So you say x cubed divided by x. When you do x cubed divided by x, you're going to get x squared. And that x squared, you're going to put it here at the top. So here's my x squared. I'm going to put it there. There's x squared. I'm done dividing. Now, the next thing is to multiply. So when I multiply, you multiply coming back this way. So you're going to multiply your x squared multiplied by x. You're going to see this guy times this and then this guy times that. So you multiply both x and 3 by that x squared. So when I multiply x squared multiplied by x, it's going to give me back my x cubed. And then when I do x squared times 3, it's giving me plus 3 x squared, giving me plus 3 x squared, right? Once you're done that, I now need to subtract, which means I'm going to draw a line 
and I'm going to subtract these guys. I'm subtracting them. So I'm going to put that minus outside so that you can see that I'm actually subtracting. So your x cubed minus x cubed is zero. And you always know that this is working because every time when you're subtracting, you need to indeed get a zero out of that first subtraction there. And then my x squared minus 3x squared will just simply give you minus 2x squared. Right, I'm done, my first part. So these guys, minus 14x and 24 are just going to come down here. Right, they're waiting here. I'm gonna bring them here, there's my minus 14x and my minus 24 also comes I've got that. I'm going to repeat the process again, start from scratch. Divide, multiply, and subtract. So let's start again with division. Negative 2x squared divided by x. So negative 2x squared divided by x will just give you minus 2x, right? And done my division, right? After dividing, you multiply. When you multiply, you multiply both of them, right? So that negative 2x times x gives you negative 2x squared, which I'm going to put here. And negative 2x times 3 will give you negative 6x, which I'm going to put there. Right, I'm done my multiplication. The next thing we need to do is just subtract. So let's subtract. We said you're going to put these guys in brackets here, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, subtract them. So this is what is going to happen. So minus 2x minus minus. Remember, negative of a negative is a positive. So minus 2x squared plus 2x squared is just going to give you a 0, which I'm going to represent with a dot there because it's gone. And then minus 14 minus minus 6. So this negative and that negative is just as good as AD. So minus 14 plus that minus 6 is just going to give you a solution of an X term, which is going to be negative, and it happens to be 8. So that's actually going to be minus 8X, right? And then that 24 there comes down. I'm going to have my minus 24 coming down there is what I have there. I'm done with my subtraction. Start again the process. By doing what? By dividing, multiplying, and then subtracting. So let's divide. Negative 8x divided by x is going to give you an answer of minus 8. So I'm going to put my minus 8 here. There's my minus 8 appearing there, right? Minus 8. I'm done dividing. Now I'm going to multiply. When you come down, you always multiply. So minus 8 times x gives you minus 8x. There's my minus 8x. And then minus 8 times 3 is 24, which is also minus so i'm gonna have minus 24 right draw a division line there and then do your subtraction so i'm subtracting these guys that's minus eight we are minusing them so minus eight minus minus eight gives you zero negative 24 minus minus 24 also gives you zero so my remainder becomes a zero you know that everything else worked out according to the you wanted because you will always always end up with a zero that actually tells you that indeed you divided correctly and that first factor is actually the first factor of this cubic expression. So then I'm going to say what you see here is actually the solution that you get when you're dividing these two guys. That's what you're getting. So I can then complete my answers and say my f of x is the first uh, factor of x plus 3 and then times. This is the solution that x squared minus 2x you see there minus 8 is what appears here. And then that is a quadratic which we can factorize and we're going to have x plus 3 into Two brackets for that, which are simply going to be x minus 4 and x plus 2. And that is how you use long division to factorize a cubic expression.